Hey book nerds, it's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. So I'm very excited to be filming my first ever video in my new house, in my new room, with my new bookshelf set up. I will obviously film a more in-depth video to show you guys like how I set up my books in my new room. I have a new bookshelf as you can see behind me, but that will be for another video. Today's video is going to be a book haul and I'm very excited to show you guys the books that I have accumulated this past fall. So so on October 3rd it was my birthday and I received a couple of books for that occasion and I also purchased a few new releases as well so I'm very excited to show them to you. I'm also sorry it took me a while to put out a new video but as I mentioned in previous vlogs I moved at the beginning of October and it took quite a while to get everything set up the way I wanted to. I was still in boxes until like a week ago so now that everything's kind of like set up and I'm happy with it I can finally feel comfortable to film in my new environment so that explains the delay. So without further ado I'm going to get into the book haul. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10 books to show you and like I mentioned most of these are birthday gifts or books that I've purchased for myself using like the birthday discount I get at Indigo so every single year I have like an extra 20% off to use on book purchases or whatever purchases at Indigo. The first one that I'm showing you is actually one of my current reads and it is A Sliver of Darkness by CJ Tudor. So this book is CJ Tudor's most recent release. She has another book coming out I think at the beginning of 2023 but this book is just a collection of short horror stories or thriller stories that are all written by CJ Tudor and I have read the first one so far and I'm very much enjoying it. I'm really excited to read the other ones and they have have different subject matters. Some of the stories have like a more dystopian feel to them, some have a more thriller feel to them. Like I said, I've only read the first one so far, but like I said, I'm enjoying it. So this is the first book that I purchased. The next book that I have here is A Touch of Darkness by Scarlett St. Clair. So this is a Hades and Persephone romance. I think it's just a trilogy. I think there are only three books out. I only got the first one because I wanted to make sure that I enjoyed it before I purchased the other ones. This book has been so popular on every single like book related platform so like book talk booktube and bookstagram and i finally have it in my possession i'm really excited to see what all of the hype is about like i mentioned in a previous reading vlog i'm trying to branch out and read more romance so this to me felt like a good investment just because i feel like this is so popular i can't really go wrong with this but even though this is very hyped like everywhere on the internet i am going to keep an open mind about it and try to go into it with no expectations whatsoever and hopefully I enjoy it. So this is the second book I got. The next book that I have here is Foul Lady Fortune by Chloe Gong. So this is the Indigo Exclusive Edition and it is absolutely gorgeous. It even has burgundy sprayed edges which I am in love with. So this book is Chloe Gong's most recent release. It takes place in 1930s Japan and our main character had something happen to her when she was younger and it was kind of like an experiment that now prevents her from aging. This same main character is also in a assassin and in Japan some murders occur and I think it puts her identity in danger or something like that. I haven't read like the full synopsis. I kind of like read it diagonally just to get like the gist of the story um, but it's another fantasy. It's another period fantasy and it kind of has like the thrilling element from the murders kind of like the um, these Violent Delights duology did. So I really like Chloe Gong's writing so far. I only read the first book in the duology that I just mentioned. I still have to read Our Violent Ends but so far I really like her writing style and I'm very intrigued by her new series. I don't know if I'm going to read this yet or if I'm going to wait for the other books to be released. I'm not quite sure um, but still regardless I'm very happy to have this exclusive edition and I cannot wait to read it. The next book I have here is The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. So Ashley Winstead is the author of In My Dreams I Hold a Knife and that was one of my favorite absolute favorite books uh, that I have ever read in the thriller genre. So when I found out that she wrote another book, 
I absolutely had to get it. The thing is about this book, it's been out for a little while and I've seen it around, but it never clicked in my mind that it was by the same author that wrote In My Dreams I Hold a Knife. So as soon as I realized it, I picked it up. So this is a cult thriller and this book takes place many years after our main character escaped the cult that she was in. I think she was in college. So I just read the back of the book for like a more clear synopsis to better explain this to you guys. So our main character's name is Shay and like I said when she was in college her and her friends got caught in a web of lies from this charismatic man that they met and they were trapped in a cult and by their senior year only Shay and another one of her friends Laurel managed to escape and in present day it's eight years later and Laurel our main character's friend ends up dead and the death is kind of reminiscent of their days in the cult and it kind of tells Shay that what happened in the past isn't quite over yet so it's dual timelines we're going back and forth between their days in the cult i'm assuming and in the present with shay trying to unravel the mystery of what happened to laurel and also how laurel's murder connects to their past so this sounds so interesting and like i said i loved the book that this author published before this so i'm very much looking forward to reading this one this next book that i got i'm so excited to show you guys so it's called the game by scott Kershaw. So I love any thriller that has a game aspect to it. So what happens in this book is that across the world five strangers receive a text from an anonymous number that says the person you love most is in danger. To save them each must play the game. A sinister unknown entity that has a single rule. There can only be one winner. If you lose your loved one will die. But what is the game and why have they been chosen? There's only one thing each of them knows for sure. They'll do any Anything to win welcome to the game you've just started playing so this kind of reminds me a little bit of the chain by Adrian McGinty where there's like a chain of text and a bunch of people who don't know each other are implicated in this like network of crime kind of thing so this kind of reminds me of that but it also reminds me kind of like saw mixed with like a bunch of other things like I'm having a hard time like pinpointing like putting my finger on what this book reminds me of but the concept sounds so interesting to me and I love a thick thriller because that means that a lot of stuff is going to happen it's a standalone obviously as most thrillers are and this book is like I've been eyeing this book for a while in the bookstore and I finally got it for my birthday and I'm so excited this is very high up on my TBR priority list hopefully I can make it to this book before the end of the year I'm keeping my fingers crossed but you guys like I I'm so excited for this book like I can barely contain myself right now talking to you guys about it it sounds so interesting five strangers they have to compete in a deadly game to save the person that they love the most there can only be one winner it's just it sounds so good it sounds so so good and I'm so pumped to read this and I will definitely vlog the whole thing in a reading vlog for you guys to see my reactions. So the next book that I have here I'm not going to talk too long about because it's the third book in a series and that book is Kingdom of the Feared by Carrie Maniscalco. So this is book three in the Kingdom of the Wicked trilogy. I haven't read Kingdom of the Wicked. I haven't read Kingdom of the Curse because I was waiting for this to come out so I could read all three back to back. So I think in a nutshell this book series is about our main character who accidentally some a prince of hell and because she freed him from hell he's kind of like in her service and now protects her so I'm not quite sure of like the details of this series but since I know like what it is at its essence kind of I feel like I'm okay just knowing that and going in blind for the rest so since I have this which recently came out I can now read all three and I'm so excited because the reviews are really really promising and I love Carrie Maniscalco's writing her Stalking Jack the Ripper quartet is one of my favorite series of all time so I'm very excited to read something from her again so this next book that I have I'm also very excited to read it is called The Enigma of Room 622 so so this book is about our main character Joel who's a writer and he goes to this hotel on a retreat to kind of get his mind off things hopefully write. He recently went through a breakup and his publisher just died so he's hoping that this retreat at this hotel will allow him like I said to get his mind off things and hopefully write some and when he gets to the hotel he discovers that there is a Miss 
mystery at the hotel there was a murder in room 626 and he teams up with a fellow guest named Scarlett to try and uncover the mystery of room 626 of this hotel so this sounds really really fun it sounds like a murder mystery an investigative thriller and I can't wait to read this the interesting thing about this book is that it was originally written in French, which I had no idea that it was until I actually purchased it. So I could have read it in French. I am from French Canada, so I do speak French, um, but I purchased it in English because I had no idea that it was first published in French, but I'm going to read this and enjoy it anyways. It sounds like such a fun time and I cannot wait to read it. Also, this book is so floppy. It's just so much fun to play with and it's probably going to distract me when I read it. The next book that I have here I'm going to go over quickly because it is also a sequel. So this is Bloodmarked which is the sequel to Legendborn. It's book two in the Legendborn cycle. So I have no idea actually what Legendborn is about. I bought it years and years ago when it came out and I haven't really thought about it since to be honest but I did see recently that the series was continuing so I bought the sequel and I'm going to check out on Goodreads if there are more books coming out. If it's called The Legendborn Cycle, then there probably are, so my guess is I won't be getting to the series anytime soon, but I am happy to have this in my possession. This was also a birthday gift, so this is the next book that I got. The next book that I have here is something that sounds so much fun to me, and this book is Sign Here by Claudia Lux. So this is a debut novel about our main character who works in hell, and he is on the cusp of a really big promotion if he can get one particular person from a very notorious, wealthy, reputable, popular family to sell their soul. So this sounds like some kind of mystery, but like mixed with comedy. It might be like a satire as well, but the concept of this sounds so interesting. Like, I mean, I read fantasy books that were like set in hell and stuff, but never from like the perspective of someone who worked there and who needs to get people to sell their souls to him in order for him to do his job. So that just sounds like such a fun concept to me and I cannot wait to read this. Like I said, this is a debut and I have seen this go around on booktube lately and it's getting some really good buzz. So I'm really excited to see what I think of it myself. And finally, the last book that I have here is The Family Game by Katherine Stedman. So this has also been making the rounds on booktube. It's a very popular thriller. I'm not sure if this is a debut. No, it's not. So it says this is from the New York Times bestselling author of Something in the Water, which I have heard of, but I haven't read yet. So this is a story about, I think, this girl who marries into a family and in order for her to be accepted, she has to survive their family game where they try to murder each other. I think this is also the premise of a movie or a TV show series. Is it Knives Out? I cannot remember the name of the series for the life of me, but I have heard that this book is being compared to that TV series or movie. So this sounds like something that could also be a little satirical, but it just sounds like something that's that's fun. And I really love things that are kind of set in a game setting, like the book, The Game, that I just showed you. I am all about those kinds of thrillers, so I feel like I'm going to enjoy this a lot. So there you have it. These are all of the books that I have purchased in the last few weeks. So if you guys have read any of these and want me to get to them in future reading vlogs, let me know in the comments down below which one I should start with. And like I said, if you've read any, let me know your thoughts. I would be really curious to know. If you guys love this video, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a future upload of mine. In the coming weeks, I will really try my hardest to keep putting out videos. My finals are coming up. It's school so that might be a little bit tricky but I'm going to try and pre-record some stuff. I have a really exciting unboxing coming soon. As soon as I get my package in the mail I'll be able to share that with you guys. I also have like some reading vlogs planned and hopefully also some like themed holiday videos. I'm not quite sure of the details of those yet but hopefully I can do something fun for Christmas time. So there you have it. That was my book haul. Once again thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye book nerds!